on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, y'all, Ricky Smiley Morning Show. It is 10 minutes, 10 minutes after the hour. You got your front page. Good morning. Good morning, Ricky. And good morning, everyone. And happy Monday. I'm Eva Marcel, and here are your top. Almost 400 Americans were quarantined on a ship because of the coronavirus are now back in the States. But all of them will still be under quarantine in Texas and California for two weeks. At least 14 were found infected, but only the ones not showing symptoms will be allowed to return home. There are now currently over 70,000 cases of the disease and over 1,700 deaths. In other news, people are demanding that Attorney General William Barr resign after recently handing down a very light prison sentence for one of Trump's longtime friends, Roger Stone. A petition was signed by over 1,100 former federal prosecutors and other ex-employees of the Justice Department calling for Barr to step down. He need to. You think so, Rick? Absolutely. You heard what Mike said. Mike said last week he's just... Uh, they do just a lot of stuff that they're doing is inappropriate or whatever. You know, uh, the Justice Department should have no political influence, period, point blank. All righty. Well, in weather news, heavy rains in Mississippi is causing historical floods in and around the state capital of Jackson. Officials have declared a state of emergency and warned that the flood could get worse. And on this day in black history, we celebrate the birthdays of former federal, formal, excuse me. Former football player Jim Brown, co-founder of the Black Panther Party, Huey P. Newton, and basketball great Michael Jordan. Happy birthday. All righty, that was a quick look at your headline news. For more on what's trending, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. What's going on in sports, Rock T? Man, only one thing to talk about today. That's NBA All-Star Weekend. I don't know if you guys got a chance to listen, watch, or heard about it, but Team LeBron beat Team Giannis. 157 to 155 in the epic fourth quarter. This is probably the best All-Star game in like 25 years, man. They was they was playing like it was the NBA Finals. Both teams playing for charity. Team LeBron won the game. They raised over $400,000 for uh, Chicago Scholars. Team Giannis won $100,000 for After School Matters. Kawhi Leonard was the Kobe Bryant All-Star game MVP. All-Star Saturday night, the three-point shootout was um Buddy Hill from the Sacramento Kings. But the dunk contest is what everybody talking about. Yeah. Aaron Gordon was robbed, dog. He was really? robbed. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. No disrespect to Derrick Jones with the Miami Heat. He won the dunk contest. But Aaron Gordon, man, he jumped over seven foot five inch Taco Fall. He should have got 50 points on that. They was both getting 50 points throughout the entire contest. They scored him 47. He jumped oh, wow. over four, seven foot five inch taco fall, man. And wow. he scored 47 points, man. So I like, I, my favorite dunk was the dude when he blew out the birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> All the dunks was dope, man. Yeah, they was. It dope. was exciting, but I think Aaron Gordon should have won that one right now. Last but not least, other great moments to the NBA All Star Kobe Bryant, the tribute that uh, Magic Johnson gave to him. Jennifer Hudson singing for All We Know was phenomenal. And Common's introduction for both teams, yeah. star lineups, that was phenomenal, man. So, yeah. um, it is what it is. There it is. In the right. halftime show. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Chance to rap. Chance to rap. Killed it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. He brought out Lil Wayne. <laughs> yep. I loved it, man. The whole the whole All-Star weekend was phenomenal. There it is, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. I appreciate that, Rock Let's take a look at the team. What you got, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday. A beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. It was a very sad Valentine's Day for a bunch of Valentines in the city of Atlanta that dined at the Old Lady Gang, the restaurant owned by Candy Birds and her wonderful husband, Todd Tucker. You all didn't hear the story. They're saying, y'all, that Southwest Atlanta folks were forced, honey, to duck and cover for gunshots open fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? They, they say the girls was ducking for cover, honey, after a gunman opened fire, honey, at the Old Lady Gang restaurant, honey. They say hidden, um, a guy was just shooting out. They say it was innocent bystanders trying to have a nice Valentine's Day, um, Valentine, and they say hundred people just started. Some guy just started shooting. What? Yes, they started shooting that old lady gang, honey. It was a very sad day, honey. But Candy sent a statement saying, as African American business owners, it has been our goal to invest in our community by bringing jobs, quality dining, and a positive experience to the right. greater Atlanta area. We hope that you know and understand that the acts of violence that occurred recently did not in any way serve as a reflection of old lady gang or its values. Right. 
She said, um, Burgess also said that they have come our way, and we encourage anyone with any information regarding any aspects of this event that occurred to please reach out to law enforcement as soon as possible. That's crazy. It sure is crazy. They say honey, two people got hit and uh, uh, some bystanders. Yeah, they know, said three people got hit, but nobody uh, died. Nobody right. is seriously injured at all. And Candy Mama's okay. Well, Miss, um, yeah, Lady jo- Mama, Mama Joyce, Joyce was okay. Yeah, they yeah. say she was in the kitchen, I think. But, uh, <laughs> what else you got, Gary? <laughs> Moving on, in other celebrity news, y'all, honey, back in December, honey, Kalani released a new single featuring Keisha Cole titled All of Me. Well, this week, baby, Kalani released a video and Keisha Cole had nowhere to be found. What's <laughs> you laughing at, that, man? <laughs> baby, Miss Kalani said, you getting off my damn album. <laughs> right. <laughs> baby, Miss Kalani took Keisha Cole off the video and the album. <laughs> oh, no. That's what that mean? Yes, baby. They say, honey, Miss Kalani um, appeared to be subtweet. They hung, um, Keisha was subtweeting each other. But they say after the release of the um, All of Me video, they say, honey, it came crystal clear that they didn't like no more. Um, Kalani issued. Crazy how the ones you look up to are down to be looked up to. But when they got to be eye to eye with all hell breaks loose, humble pie tastes good, I promise. And Keisha Cole reached back. Girl, shut the up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? Everybody beefing. What's up? Do they say beefing for dinner? <laughs> right. I guess. All right, y'all. Give it a, you got to call today. The color today, y'all, is one of my favorite colors. My color today, y'all, is puff cakes. On the high end, you say puff cakes. And on the low end, you say beautiful yellow. That's your color for today. All right, y'all. One time for Gary with the T. All right. Coming up, we got the hot spot. You don't want to miss it. 16 minutes after the hour. Rick Smile the Morning Show. 